what is going on youtube it's your favorite youtuber me and my kicks and this is my quarantine vlog man coming up covid19 or the coronavirus has been shutting everything down since like the middle of march now it's the middle of june and things have slowly but surely have started opening up especially here in illinois um so you know i haven't done a vlog of any kind in a while so since you know stores are opening up i figured i'd come back out here and give you guys a vlog also the reason why i really wanted to do this vlog was because i tried for the hair sixes online and struck out so i wanted to try and see if they got some in the mall and then also i've heard that they've been dropping the air max 90 galaxies early um some stores have been just like released them early and not waiting to the date so i definitely want a pair of those and i don't want to wait you know or, you know try my chances online and you know also and also i'm kind of intrigued to see like you know like what's going on like how long does it take to actually wait in line and get to a store you know what's the customer service like things like that i just want to see what's the new dynamic of everything so you already know what i had to do i had to go ahead put on my mask and risk my health to make sure you guys get a good vlog and that i get my shoes because you already know that'd be the only thing that i'd be risking my health for is some tennis shoes but anyways just to give you a fair warning like i had to i have my mask on so i had to talk over my mask and then also you know foot that foot action foot locker they be blaring the music so i had to talk over that as well so just to let you know this is not one of my best vlogs I mean, you'll be able to hear me and stuff like that, but the sound might be a little bit too high in some areas. The sound might be a little low in others. So, you know, just bear with me. And you know me, I'm kind of rusty. It's been a while since I did a vlog. So once I get back into my groove, I'll be dropping the same reviews that you all know and love. So let's get into the vlog. As far as like releases and stuff. They ain't got nothing much. They got these infrared 23 joints though. I did a review on these. I put it up above if you want to check it out. But these definitely a classic shoe. Glad I got these. I, when these came out, I didn't see these in the stores, but I, I guess they got pairs later, something like that. But these are chilling. I don't know why they chilling. I forgot the colorway on this uh, 34, but it's not too bad. I want to say it's like the Chinese New Year joints, but eh, not, not better than these joints, though. Then they got the Black Cat joints. These pretty nice. I wouldn't buy them. I'll get them on sale, but I personally wouldn't buy retail for them, but... They also got these uh, Chinese New Year 13s. I did a review on this. I put it up above if you want to check it out. But these, what, 150? I paid 110 for mine. Not a bad price. At 150, that's not bad at all. They got the Vince Carters here. Still got them for retail price, though. I need them to go on sale. They also got the black and yellow ones, though. And what up? They got these Penny Fives, the Warrior joints. And then they also got the Invisibility Cloak Penny joints. These, not bad. I need them at a lower price though. For some reason, I really like these um, Air Force Ones. Like this color scheme is really getting to me. I like it, man. Uh, if I can get these for like 50, 60 bucks, because I think they're going to go on the outlets, I'll cop these, man. This is a nice little colorway. Got the Kyrie 6 trophies. I did a review on these as well. I'll put a link up above if you want to check these out. Definitely a clean shoe. I was expecting these to go on sale, but they still have it. Definitely, definitely a cold shoe. 100 bucks? Can't beat these, man. If they had my size, I'd cop. I bet you they only got either big or small sizes in these. But these is definitely nice for 100. It's so disrespectful. They just letting these seven sit, man. Like, these is classics right here. I still need to get this. They also got the uh, red carpets. They also got the Christmas joints. And they got the Fairfax. I'm not really too, too big on the Fairfax. If I can get this for a low price, I'll cop it still. But that's, they just disrespecting these sevens. The best silhouette ever. Man, it's crazy. Some of the places open, some not. They got long lines everywhere, man. Like, it's a line to get into everything. It is crazy, bro. The Foot Locker finally, these four is going on sale. 200, not bad. I need these at like 150, and I'll cop these. I really like these, and I like the, like the different grades on here, but the retail price is way too high on these. And I love the uh, Air Max 95 uh, neon green joints. See, this is what I'm talking about. The Reebok Iversons going on sale. Got these for 110, the crisscrosses. I did a review on that. I need these. Uh, these ain't gonna sell yet, but um, just the fact they got them, hopefully they got my size. They got these for 100. Definitely need this a little bit lower. And they also got the one with the patent leather toe for uh, 110. So I'm just loving the fact that these Reeboks going on sale. So, cause I definitely want them all, but I need to get them at the price that I want them. I do not know what Nike is thinking, man. This is trash. You see this toe box? These is trash. These is, man. 
Look at this. Nike need to go back to the drawing board, disrespecting the Air Force One like that, man. They also got these. These is ugly too. They doing too much. I am not a fan of these at all. These the uh, Ultra Boost DNAs. It look like it got a 2.0 upper, and they got like updated materials. It got like leather on there as well. But if this sole was a little bit more redder, it'd be hard. But uh, these like recently just came out, and they on sale for 150 already. I'm not a big fan of this like DNA model right here. Here go all white one. I'm not really a big fan of that one either. Like, but these retail. I don't know what type of upper this is, but this is the DNAs as well. Here go those Air Jordan 2s that came out for the ladies. Uh, one side is like got the Lakers colors and the Bulls colors. Then the other one is like a like a royal orange uh, green effect. It's like a what the shoe, honestly. And handy's not bad. I like the quilted on the top. Got that leather. Then you got that little like nylon material. And then you got the patent leather in front. It's not bad. These not bad at all. They also got these uh, Air Force Ones. And the Chicago Bulls pinstripes. It's not bad either. I wouldn't buy it, but it's not a bad shoe overall. Here go those Air Jordan 5s, the Aurora Borealis colorway. As you can see when I change it, move the shoe around, the color changes. It's not bad. It's pretty decent. And I like that um, milky outsole they put on there. It's not bad at all. Here in line, the finish line. Want to see what they got. They got the Air Max 2090s on deck. And it's not a too long of a line. I'm like second in line. As far as like the wait times, it's been about like a good 10, 20 minute wait. Not too, too bad, but you know, I'd rather just go in and get out, but you gotta do, you gotta deal with the new times. I never seen this colorway before. I got the all gold Air Max 97s. I'd rather take the gold bullets in my opinion, but it's not a bad colorway. Uh, what they want for it? Retail 180. It's not too bad. And they got this like heat wave type colorway. This, this go cold with an old school Atlanta Hawks uniform, but they want 180 for these as well. I like the material that they use on this. It's like kind of a, like a cloth type material, not just regular leather. I want to say this colorway like wears away. Like as you keep wearing it, like this like goes down in the red. This is um, green and that's white. But I want to say this colorway looks plain right now. But as you wear it down or hit it with some alcohol, it'll wear away and the colors will pop out on this one. Uh, it's okay. I wouldn't buy it just for that purpose though. These Air Max 90s remind me of the Simpsons for some reason. Like Homer eating a donut. These 120, it's not a bad colorway in Air Max 90s. And here are the Air Max 2090s. And hand, this design is not the best. These might be a little comfortable though. They got this like sunset type colorway. That's not too bad. But overall, eh. Got some all white 97s. Got some, it's not a bad, it's not a bad colorway. Got the gray with the pink on there. These not bad at all. It's not a bad, bad colorway in the Air Max 2090s, but they could do it better, man. Nike could do way better with these colorways. I never seen these Ultra Boosts before. These kind of remind me of Paris or something like that. They got that all black midsole with that like 2.0 upper. It's a uh, Ultra Boost 18. What did it say? Ultra Boost 18. I never heard of that, but he's not bad. He's not bad at all. I'll get these on sale. This white upper would definitely get dirty real quick, but and this this shoes go hard. I can't lie. They've been slipping on the Kyrie Six colors lately. Like, I'm not a fan of these. They got that little like d like double colored Nike check, but these more for like girls or like an Easter type colorway. Got the Nikes right there, and this colorway, like I like the execution, but they should have did something different. Like this midsole needs to be black, and then this back. If this back part was like holographic, like this Nike check, these would go hard. But nice shoe, but horrible execution. Execution, but I'm guessing this back part glow in the dark. That's why I look like that. Uh, after this, and since I know it glows in the dark, that's not too bad. They've been going crazy with the Dub Zeros lately. They got these white cement Dub Zeros. Got this all rail one. Got this like DMP Dub Zero. And then they got the OG Dub Zeros, the white with the red. And these six rings go hard. Like this UNC colorway, these not bad. And I like this outsole too. It look like they redesigned this Jimmy Jazz, but as far as like shoes, they got the same stuff they've been having, like those Retro 3s, the shy joints. And it's a nice little outfit, but overall, this waiting is getting a little bit, making me a little bit impatient, I can't lie. Why they got this big old hang tag on these uh, Air Max 270s? <laughs> they going a little bit too crazy on that, man. Also, I like this colorway on the 97s. Got the different little like colors and also different materials. Like you got that jersey material. Oh, that's pretty decent. What else did I see that was pretty nice? Here goes some Nike Air Vapor Match Plus and Chicago flag colors. These not bad. 
175. That's retail for them. So, but this is not a bad colorway at all. I can't even lie. These pretty cold. I never seen this colorway in the um, Nike Shocks BB4s. Got that patent leather upper and got that suede gray right there. These pretty nice. I can't even lie. How much they want for these? Um, they want. 134 and they on sale these not bad at all i know a lot of people gonna clown me for this but i like these these are the jump man team showcase and the unc colorway these are so cold to me i always wanted these back in the day i'm gonna gotta get these when they go on sale for like probably like 70 80 bucks but these go hard they got them in like a red i don't like this colorway they also got them in a white i don't like this colorway but in this colorway these go hard in my opinion got the air jordan 5 5 red ogs in hand these okay but I like the ones with the red sole better and the black tongue and the 23 on the side. I like those way better than these. I still got that. I got those. I I got those actually. So I'm going to have to go ahead and review those one day. But they over here sitting at Jimmy Jazz if you like them. Got these black Ferraris. And in hand, they're not too bad. I just need these at a very low price. If I get these at like 80 to 100 bucks, I'll cop just to complete the Ferrari pack. But I'm not paying nowhere near retail for these. This is a pretty crazy colorway in the Air Max 270 Reacts. I like these. These not bad at all. I rock with these. This be nice for like a female or a kid. These go crazy. 150, that's not, that's not a bad price either. All right guys, that is the end of the vlog. What did you guys think? If you liked the vlog, hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below if you've been to your current mall yet or if you've done any like in-store shopping. Comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. I had to cut down the camera lighting just a little bit because I wanted to show you that I was able to pick these up. Um, these was at the Woodfield Mall, um, JD Sports at Woodfield Mall. This was the only store out of those two malls that I went to that even like had newer retros. Everything that I was going to, they had the old shoes and stuff like that. And it was kind of like, you know, messed up. You know, they open up all these malls and stuff just to give you old stuff to go to. I mean, I'd rather just shop online. But anyways, like, you know, as you can see, definitely a great shoe. Um, I love the fact that like this, um, this lace lock is look shaped like a carrot. You got the orange and then you got the green up top. Then on the back, you got that, you know, stitched in jump man. And overall, I really like this shoe. I love the hair seven. So once they kind of like put that theme on this shoe, I had to add it to the collection. I struck out online and luckily at JD Sports, there was no line. It was just chill. Like I could just go in, get my shoes and leave on out. They ain't do no raffles or nothing like that. So that was definitely great. If this was regular times, I really think that this shoe would have sat and I probably could have got this for a deal. But you know, with the coronavirus going on and people not getting shipments and stuff like that, everything Jordan wise has been selling out. So, you know, I couldn't take that chance. I had to go ahead and pay that retail. And I'm glad I did because this is definitely a great sneaker. My overall thoughts on like going to the mall is man, like, you know, hopefully things can get a little bit smoother and faster because I can't see myself really going there doing vlogs because, you know, sometimes I'll do a vlog, it take like 20, 30 minutes. But now, you know, it took like an hour and a half, two hours just to, you know, get in and out the mall. Some of the stores had like, you know, 20 minute, 30 minute waits. Some of the stores didn't. Like, you know, Foot Locker had a long wait. Um, Finish Land had an okay wait. But like other stores like H&M, they had a long wait. So I know it's not just affecting me, it's affecting anybody that goes to the mall and just wanna try stuff on. So hopefully, you know, things can get smoothed out a little bit later on down the line. But you know, as far as like right now, now, these malls aren't really worth going to because Foot Locker doesn't have anything new, Finish Line, you know, uh, Foot Action, none of the stores don't have anything really new. And, you know, you'd be better off just going online and saving yourself the help. But I'm glad you guys, you know, stuck through the video and watched it. I really appreciate it. And peace.